What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in today's adventure, we're gonna be attempting to track down the deadliest and most venomous sea creatures on earth. I've put myself onto this stretch of tidal zone here on the east coast of Australia because it holds so many of the most venomous animals in the world. And we're gonna be attempting to track some down in today's episode. So there's gonna be three main species that I'm attempting to track down in today's video. All very deadly to me and deadly in their own habitat. Number one is stingrays. Now there's a plethora of species of stingrays that cruise these tidal zones and with a venomous barb at the back of their tail, I'd hate to get stung all the way out here. Number two is a bit more tricky to track down as they are the kings of camouflage out here and also happen to be one of the most venomous fish in the world, the stonefish. With a venom so painful that not even words can describe how it feels to be stung by one of these fish, I'm very confident that we'll be able to track one down out here. And number three on the list that I'm going to be attempting to track down out here in this tidal zone is the blue ringed octopus, a species that I've never found before and one that I'm so excited to film. One of the most venomous creatures on earth. Let's just say I cannot get bitten by this thing all the way out here. But yeah, I'm going to start searching around this tidal zone and see if I can find some deadly animals. Stonefish, right there. See him sitting on the edge of the mangroves? That is the most venomous fish in the world. All right, I'll pick him up. He'd be sitting here, waiting for fish to cruise past. And yeah, that's a landmine that you do not want to stand on. But how cool is that? We got one. That was one of the species we were looking for out here. All right, I'm going to find a place to set up my camera so that I can teach you a bit about this fish. You go back down there for now, buddy. <laughs> It's very hard to spot these fish. You can see this little fella just sitting down on the bottom there. You wouldn't even know he's there unless you're looking for him or unless you stand on them. All right. And take a look at what I've just caught out in the mangroves right here. That right there is the most venomous fish in the world, the saltwater estuary stonefish. And this is probably the last time that I'm gonna film these stonefish for a while. I absolutely love them. I know a lot of people love them as well, but I don't wanna overdo it. Now these stonefish, can actually survive out of water by storing water inside their gills. So me taking them out of the water and teaching you about them right now isn't hurting this fish at all. They're intertidal animals. So sometimes they can get trapped in little rock pools that dry up and have to survive until the next high tide. And they're also one of the most beautiful looking fish in the whole world. Got a bit of a head like a half sucked mango, but that's all right, mate. Responsible for an average of about 700 to 1000 stings a year here on the East Coast of Australia. Now how these stonefish sting you is from these dorsal spines at the top there. They have 13 running all the way down the back of their body with two venom sacs on each of them. And people don't realize how common they are. These guys are everywhere over the East Coast. So I think it's good that I can raise a bit of awareness because if a kid stood on this fish, it would be seriously bad. So let's pretend this is your foot putting downwards pressure onto this stonefish spine. There's a foot full of one of the most painful venoms in the world getting put into your body, which is now pretty much just exploding cells. But yeah, it's an incredibly painful sting. Some say it's worse than standing on Lego. And these stonefish are masters at camouflage. As you can see, they look exactly like a stone and they use this for hunting. They'll lie in ambush waiting for a little fish to swim past, strike out, grab it in their mouth and swallow it alive. That fish will still be alive when it goes into the stonefish's stomach. See him swimming in the water there. It's so cool. Look at him. And if I drop you down, are you gonna go? Yeah, look. So 
so they don't always just stay still. So cool spending time with such a crazy animal, such a crazy animal in its own habitat as well. Just chilling with it in the water as it's swimming along my hand. Enjoy it all. The last stonefish for a long time. You're amazing, mate. There's species number one for the day. We got a few more deadlier species than this fella that we're gonna be tracking down. But how cool is that? Saltwater estuary stonefish. See you, mate. I think I like them because they look weird. What a cool way to start off the adventure, the stonefish. Venom is something that has always fascinated me, if you haven't noticed. And next on the list is one of the most venomous creatures in the world, if I can find it. So much more dangerous than that stonefish right there. Let's try to find a blue ringed octopus. Sand crab, right there. He could even be legal. This is a legal crab, we're gonna eat him for sure. There we go. Look at that. Little sand crab. His shell is actually soft. My bad. <laughs> All right. I reckon he could be legal, but we're gonna let him go anyway. So you might. Just walking these little tidal zones as the tide's pushed fully out and under this rock we've spotted a little octopus. There's so many species of octopus that live out here but we're gonna lift up this rock and see. All right. Come on. Where is he? Oh, it's a blue ringed octopus. Are you kidding me? Look at him. Just hiding under this leaf right here. I've been looking for this animal right here for so long and we found one. I just ran back to the car and got this fish tank and we're gonna chuck the little fella in it. And we'll just put him, he's just on the other side of this rock. There we go, in the tank. Yes, blue ringed octopus, look at that. So sitting on this leaf here, right in front of me, is one of the most venomous animals in the world. The blue ringed octopus. I'm being very careful. If I got whacked all the way out here, you'd start to feel real dizzy, numbness. It'd be hard to breathe and talk. And what's happening is that's sending your body into paralysis and on rare occasions, sometimes even death. I'm shaking a bit because this is the most venomous. Whoa. He's going, but we're gonna get him back in the water. I'm just showing everyone how careful you have to be walking around the rock pools. We found this big fella and a stonefish this morning already. Now they're easily identified by those bright glowing rings on their body and actually the stingray that we're finding next also has those bright colors. It's called a blue spotted mask ray and it's basically a sign in the animal kingdom saying back off I'm deadly and this guy is not lying. Super deadly creatures that we have to coexist with here in Australia. I mean you've seen in this one little place this morning the animals that I've found already and there's no anti-venom for them either so if you get bitten I mean good luck surviving. I reckon let's get him out and put him in this little rock pool, see how he crawls around. So cool, mate. So it's actually a really short life for these octopus. They're out here in the tide pools for about two years until they die. So this would not be an old animal at all, but he's an amazing animal. Such a beautiful experience spending time with this little octopus. I don't want to push my luck with an animal like this. This has been so amazing to me. Thank you so much, mate. All right, we'll get you back under your rock. Stonefish, check. Blue ringed octopus, check. 
Next on the list was gonna be stingrays, but it's just got really windy out there in those sand flats that I'm not actually able to see in the water anymore. I can't see any of these stingrays. So I thought I'd change plans and venture into the mangroves themselves, which is covered from the wind, to try and catch myself some dinner. And you guessed it, we're targeting big Australian mud crabs. This is the kind of terrain that you have to walk through if you wanna get them. These guys, are pretty dangerous themselves as well if you're catching them because they have claws that can take your fingers off. But hopefully, if we walk around for a bit, we'll be able to track one down. So what will happen is when the tide comes up, all of these mud crabs which live in these holes in the ground will come out and feed. The tide's just going back out at the moment so they should be retreating back into their holes. I actually just found a few mud crab holes which I know there are crabs living in them because all of the water is really dirty which means there's a crab down it. And if you want to catch them you have to stick your hand down these big mud crab holes and you put your hand about that far under the mud feeling around for these crabs. That's when you can lose fingers. I've just found a couple holes though I'm going to give it a go. So this right here definitely has a crab living in it. All the mud in there is a bit stirred up so I'm gonna give it a go see if I can pull one out. Now believe it or not I actually do not like doing this at all. I cannot feel anything. This hole is so deep. <laughs> these crabs can dig these holes back so far and I can't feel anything so maybe it's not home. Just through there. Look at that. As the tide's pushing out the deeper water is just over there. And he's just sitting in this little stream. All right, I'm just crawling through the mud here. Take a look at him. He is massive. He is definitely a legal crab, definitely a male. No hole nearby, we've got him. This is gonna be my dinner right here. I'm actually gonna go out camping with some mates later on. And we're gonna cook him up. They're gonna be absolutely stoked that I got him. Oh, he's nearly getting me. All right, mate. And that right there is a big Australian mud crab out here in the mangroves. We're so deep in the mangroves at the moment, but that right there is gonna be our dinner. Take a look at the size of those claws, they're massive. Whoa. Oh. Nearly got me, mate. Up here in Queensland, we call those big claws Queensland lollipops. And they'll break your fingers, mate. They are so powerful, which is why you gotta be so careful with big crabs like this. But well, we're gonna take them out at the moment. We've got food. We've caught a couple species, no stingrays yet, but I'd take catching a crab like this over catching a stingray any day. That's awesome. All right, we gotta get out of these mangroves. And that's how we do it, mate. Out here in the mangroves. Bare-handed, look at that crab. The size of those claws. Nothing better when an adventure actually pays off. We've not only got dinner right here with that massive mud crab, we've caught blue-ringed octopus, stonefish, seen a heap of cool animals out here in this ecosystem. And now we've got now I've got a big feed to cook up at the end of the day. You will get extremely muddy. You will get hammered by so many mozzies when you come out into these places, but you will find all these animals if you do put yourself into this environment. And I think that proves it right there, eh? Whoa, did a backflip, mate. Mud crab out here in the mangroves. All right, let's go back and cook him up. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, I actually don't know where I am. You 
go in there for now, mate. For now. <laughs> a little bit muddy, eh? So we're just walking through this little rainforest track at the moment with the mud crab and a little cooker, and we're gonna cook up this mud crab for lunch. Gonna find a place probably down by the river, clean it out, and then cook it up. some water, put some salt in it. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how you wanna pull apart these mud crabs is rip the top shell off, just like that. Pull it in half. <laughs> do you want me to do it? <laughs> yeah. And take out all of this stuff, wash it in the creek. All right, there's that side done. Do the same to this one. And once the water's boiling, we'll leave them in there for about 11 minutes. All right, so we found all those deadly animals earlier today. I'm so stoked that I got to find a species of blue ring octopus and that stonefish. Sadly, we couldn't get a stingray, but we'll leave that for a future video. But yeah, we got into the mangroves and got ourselves a big feed for lunch. I'm gonna be posting videos every week this year, so if you wanna come along on some of these adventures, subscribe to the channel, like these videos, comment down below. And yeah, thank you so much for the support. We're in such a cool creek at the moment, all the vines and trees are crazy around here and we get to cook up a big mud crab so we'll just chuck these crabs in there's one hopefully they'll all fit inside the pot there we go. and we'll leave it for 11 minutes them in some cold water. All right, and that's all we got right there. We're just gonna chop up this lemon, chuck it on it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. Yeah, not bad to get a feed out in the mangroves when we're out here camping at such an awesome place. So we're gonna finish off this, but thank you so much for watching this adventure. New videos every week. I'll be posting them every Sunday here in Australia. So if you wanna come on some more adventures, stay tuned. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys again in the next adventure.